scholars inc included the Genesis Apocryphon, a commentary on the book of Habakkuk and the so-called community rule. Shortly after the Bedouins aborted visit to Jerusalem, in late July, according to some rec reports, in August, according to others, Metropolitan Samuel sent a priest to return with George uh, Isaiah to the cave at Qumran. Being engaged in illicit activities, the pair worked by night. They examined the site at length and found at least one additional jar and some fragments. They also conducted apparently some fairly extensive excavations. When the first official research partly sir, re reached, partly reached the location a year later, they discovered an entire section of the cliff face had been removed, making a large entrance into the cave below the smaller hole originally explored by the Bedouin. What this ex enterprise may have yielded remains unknown. In researching this book, we interviewed certain people who insisted that George Isaiah, during the course of his noctur nocturnal explorations, found a number of other scrolls, some of which have never been seen by scholars. Having obtained at least some of the scrolls Metropolitan Samuel overtook to establish their age. He first consulted a Syrian expert working at the Department of Antiquities. In this man's opinion, the scrolls were of fairly recent date. The Metropolitan then consulted a Dutch scholar working with the Ecole Biblique, Biblique et Archaeologique Frances, Frances de Jerusalem, an institution run by Dominican monks and financed in part by the French government. He was intrigued but remained sceptical about the scroll's antiquity. Describing subsequently how he returned to the Col Biblic, Biblic uh, consulted a prominent scholar there who lectured him about the prevalent, prevalent forgeries floating around amongst dodgy antique dealers. dodgy antique dealers. As a result, he abandoned his research on the matter, and the Cold Biblic lost its opportunity to get involved at the beginning. Only the relatively untutored Metropolitan at this point seems to have had any inkling of the scroll's age value and significance in September in September 1947 the Metropolitan took the scrolls in the possession to his superior the patriarch of the Syrian Jacobite church in Horns north of Damascus what passed between them is not known but on his return the Metropolitan again dispatched a party of men to excavate the cave at Qumran presumably he was acting on the patriarch's instructions 
In any case, he obviously believed there was more to be discovered. Metropolitan Samuel's visit to Syria in September had co coincided with the arrival there of Miles Copeland, who had joined the OSS during the Second World War, had remained with that organization.